James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 3rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll see Noah here has called for a direct hit today, August 3rd, 2024. You can line that up and see the third here. Earth is the green line here. They were looking for about 30 plus centimeters of plasma and solar winds up to about 500 kilometers per second. Now, they were watching several CMEs for August 3rd and August 4th UTC days. Well, what if I told you they're wrong once again? And please remember, they weren't looking for G1 geomagnetic storm watch. They were looking for a G2 storm. Hmm, kind of like the G2 and G3 we saw, well, last week, right? Now, with that said, we have had some big Earth-facing solar flares today that we'll quickly go over. But first, let's take a look at the Planetary KP Index, used and updated exclusively by NASA and NOAA. This includes solar winds and plasma and the impact on Earth. And you can see absolutely nothing happened yesterday and absolutely nothing happened the day before. And on the 1st, well, they hadn't had any storms whatsoever. So they pulled a KP5, the lowest geomagnetic storm available, and then a KP4.67 and averaged up to a KP G1 geomagnetic storm for six hours here. Their warning was for a G2 or G3 geomagnetic storm uh, during this entire period, which we never saw. Before we go over these new strong flares that appear to be Earth-facing and appear to have generated coronal mass ejection inbound, let's take a look at our Discover satellite, real-time solar winds. We see that the shields have been down all day long, that our plasma has never been in space weather territory. It's mostly under one centimeter cubed all day long. Winds have been under 400 kilometers all day long. They're somewhere around 350 right now. Started under 400 kilometers all day long. Please remember they were looking for 33 centimeters cubed of plasma and solar winds up at 500 kilometers per second. We'll call this a complete well, mishap. We would like our tens of billions of dollars back, please. Now, over to GOES X-ray flux. With that said, we've had 10 M-class solar flares today. The current flare doesn't want to give up. It has been in M territory for some time. 10 very minor M flares until just the last hour when we've had two substantial M-class solar flares. We can see that the second flare is turning back up or at least staying in M territory. We are so close to having an M baseline. This is the highest baseline I have ever seen. It's a C++ baseline. Again, 10 M flares thus far today. All right, this one ended just as the day began an M13, M1, M1.5, M1.5, M1.9, M1.8, all small M flares. M2.8, basically our baseline. You can see the C9, C6s, C9s. It hasn't gone, well, much below that. Our current value is an M2.56, 2.54, slowly coming down, may I say. Now, the biggest flare we've seen today is this M7.3, although this flare that we're currently having is not on this chart yet. So we'll be taking a look at that and trying to see if we can spot it on Ghost Solar Ultraviolet Imager. This flare was from two days ago, and this one was the one they were expecting to hit today. Now we'll show you all more information about that. Uh, they have a 25% chance of X class solar flares. I thought we were about to have one. 75% chance of an M class solar flare should be 100% and laughable 99% uh, chance of a C class solar flare. Uh, the regions that 
are actually spitting out these flares are 775, 770, 774, uh, let's see, and 777. Now, 777 is a spot that just came around the limb and is not complex at all. And these other ones are not delta sunspots, but they're beta gamma sunspots. And we saw one of them produced in M7.2. There's another flare that's been produced since then. And I don't have a sunspot for it yet, but we'll see if we can figure out what occurred there. It might have been a filament eruption. Moving over to HMI Intensigram, taking a look at the sunspot groups that are Earth facing. Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12 Earth-facing sunspot groups with a few more that will be named shortly. Now, we started the day off with 3777. This is a simple sunspot. It was responsible for the first two M flares of the day. That was followed by 3770 over on the far limb. 3770 right here. I believe it just flared again. Uh, a sympathetic flare with the big flare that just occurred out of 3775 here, the M7.3, but we'll take a look in a second. Uh, 3770 was responsible for three M flares. The biggest one, an M2.8 solar flare. Again, although it looks like it just popped off again on GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. We were joined by AR3774. Uh, all of these are beta gamma sunspots. No complex beta delta gamma sunspots currently, but these are more than able to produce a strong X flare. This was an M1 that peaked at 1345 UTC time or about 745 this morning central time. This has been followed up just in the last hour or two uh, by AR3775 in the northern hemisphere an M7.3 solar flare amazingly AR3772 has not been active all day according to the information we're getting from about four different well organizations all right I want to show you the M 7.3 solar flare right here. It's coming out of AR3775. Very easy to spot. You can actually see that either there was a filament eruption associated with it or that is the coronal mass ejection leaving our sun. Now I see a sympathetic flare also right here. Uh, hold on. Right there. At the same time out of 3770. That's why I say it looks like it's produced four, not three M flares. We also see another sympathetic solar flare off of a sunspot group that is unnamed as of yet and coming around the limb here. All of this happened at the same time, this being the major part of the flare. Now we don't know what has caused this very last flare and I will show you all that. It has not been listed. This is the flare you guys just saw, and this is the, I'm going to say M5.4 flare uh, that stayed in M territory for at least, it looks like it's going to be three or four hours. Unbelievable. I will update those ultraviolet imagers so we can make sure. Now I have updated this, and I'm just not seeing it. There's a lot of activity happening on the sun here. We could be looking at this longer term explosion out here on the limb from a sunspot that's eclipsed by the limb. This would be a much larger explosion than the M flare that we looked at, but it seems to last quite a long time. And we did indicate that we can see 3770 also on the far limb that were geomagnetically connected to sympathetically flare with 3775 the M7.3 solar flare that looks to have produced a CME 
So maybe it's a one, two, three punch here. All right, over to the D region absorption prediction center. We're going to see those last two flares. These are all small M flares here. We had a 2.8 there and another small M flare here. And then we got hit with another small M flare. Remember 11 today. And there's our first big flare there at 1842. And I did just check, and that was the M7.3 or 4 solar flare. Now we've had another flare that hit, not actually being recorded. These are all hitting over the U.S. directly in all of Central America. This flare has not been reported. It could be one of the flares from 3770 or the one we saw that was flaring and eclipsed by the incoming limb. But it was indeed a very strong solar flare. I'm sure that if they do rate it as they will, it will be, well, it will have been much stronger than it is rated. All right. Space Weather Prediction Center. Tax dollars just upgraded this for several hundred thousand dollars. A nightmare. They've got a chrome mass ejection impacting Earth on the 3rd with 35 centimeters of plasma. We've seen nothing. We have solar winds way down here. Uh, and maybe it's inbound and running late. They have it set up for 7 a.m. this morning central time. It is almost 4 p.m. Central Time currently. Again, maybe it's late, but nothing has occurred all day long whatsoever. If this is another nothing burger, let's just close Noah down, period. All right, over to SDO HMI Magnetogram Image, we see all the departing sunspot groups, including 3770 that's been so ugly today. This reverse polarity sunspot group just doesn't seem to want to be active for us today. Uh, this is 3775, not looking very fierce, but it is reverse polarity with black or negative over positive in the northern hemisphere. Uh, this is positive over negative, how sunspot should look in the northern hemisphere, negative over positive in the southern hemisphere. This is arguable. Uh, and we can see the sunspots coming around the limb here, ladies and gentlemen absolutely horrific looking we've been getting a lot of action from the limbs we're going to see what comes around very shortly but it looks ugly now over to soho 284 uh, angstroms this is the sunspot group that produced the m7.4 solar flare uh, the departing groups are on fire we do have our geomagnetic connection to that limb so we might suffer some geomagnetic disturbances from those flares, although they've been very small all day, unless this latest flare came from there. I believe it came from up here, as we can all see. Although this sunspot here looks much more fierce that's coming around. This was taken at 6.06 .06 a.m. this morning, and it shows a bunch of ugly sunspots coming around the limb. And instead of working in shifts at NASA, they're completely gone for the weekend. Thousands of employees here, but this has not been updated since late Thursday, early Friday. A complete nightmare. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.